drinking tea or coffee or hot chocolate could be quite a formal ritual in the 18th century when all of these beverages were scarcer and more costly than they are today and the rules of social conduct more elaborate. Traditionally, the saucer would be held in one hand and the cup raised in the other so the refreshing drink, whatever it was, could be sipped delicately and not spill onto a lady's dress or a gentleman's vest. This elegant cup and saucer were designed to make spillage even less likely. The cup has two handles, so an elderly or infirm person could use both hands to raise it to his or her lips. And the saucer is equipped with a special circular nest into which the cup could be placed to prevent it being knocked over. They were called trembleur's saucers because they helped to stabilize the cup and its contents even when held by someone with trembling hands. Hard paste porcelain was invented in China probably in the 9th century. It differs from other types of porcelain partly because of the raw materials used in its manufacture but also because it's fired at a much higher temperature. European craftsmen struck on the right formula to emulate this luxury import in the early 18th century. This little cup and saucer was made in Austria around 1730. It's decorated with vaguely oriental motifs. Black and white foliage highlighted with gold, fanciful pagodas, and a bird perched, rather precariously, on the branch of a tree. It's easy to imagine an elderly 18th century lady or gentleman sipping from a cup like this one while exchanging fascinating items of gossip with friends around a tea table. <laughs>